Hello again, Chris here from Domino Clamps. Let's take a look at how to attach a steel tube to a domino clamp, which will be a really useful and versatile point from which to mount things like floodlights, CCTV and signage. One of the most straightforward ways to do this is using a scaffolding half coupler. Either a pressed or forged half coupler will do. These are just one half of a swivel coupler for joining two pieces of scaffold tube at an angle. And as you can see, they have a hole here where usually the pin on which they pivot goes in. What you need to do is get an M12 countersunk bolt like this, pop it through the hole in the half coupler, and just do that up into any one of the four holes on the domino. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot here to stop your entire pole from pivoting. So it's most likely that you'll be wanting to use these in pairs, either vertically with a domino at the top and bottom, or horizontally with one at each end. These clamps are designed for 48 millimeter scaffolding tube. So don't use anything smaller than that and make sure it's steel tube. Using aluminium, particularly in the pressed couplers, can crimp and damage the aluminium. My preferred option is to use tube clamps like these. We'll be covering the full range of these in more detail in a later video, but for now, let's look at using one or two of these palm railing style clamps to attach a vertical pole to a container. These ones come in a variety of sizes for different size poles of 48.3, 42.4 and 33.9 millimeter outside diameter. The bolt spacing on all these clamps here... <laughs> the bolt spacing on all these clamps here are approximately 100 millimeters across. So all we need here is a 25 millimeter long M12 bolt to attach these straight on to the front of our domino once it's already attached to the container. Do these up nice and tight with a washer and simply drop in the correct size pole and do up these grub screws here with an eight millimeter hex key. So there you have it, a pole attached to the top corner casting, ideal for attaching a floodlight or CCTV camera for instance. For attaching anything heavier or higher up, you may find that you need to add the strength by using one of these tube clamps at both the bottom and top of the container, with the steel tube running all the way through. This is going to significantly increase the strength here. For this, your top tube clamp is going to need drilling through, so the tube can pass all the way through it. Most tube clamp manufacturers offer this as an extra service if you ask but we will have these available in our online shop as a complete set of two tube clamps, four bolts and washers. So you can do what we're doing here without any messing about looking for all the right bits. So this time we'll attach a normal fixing down the bottom and a drilled through version on top and we'll feed through a longer pole like this. This will be a lot stronger than just a single clamp Using tube clamps like this is also a lot more aesthetically pleasing than the half coupler option, as well as removing the issue of having the half coupler bolt thread poking out, which someone could catch a hand or their clothing on. Great for times where the public might be quite close to the installation. So this method will of course also work for aluminium tube, which those of you in the events industry may prefer to be using. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook to take part in our domino challenge. <laughs> that happy clamping. <laughs>